Hello and welcome to this how-to video for That's Crafty Products. In this video I'm going to show you how to create the MDF Shrine using these two laser cut sheets from That's Crafty. Firstly take the sheet with lots of the laser cut pieces in and simply push them out from the main sheet. So before you go any further, just familiarise yourself with how this particular part of the project is going to go together. So we have the back plate, the two top plates and the two side plates with the slots in. The glue we're going to be using to stick all this together is the multi-purpose craft adhesive from That's Crafty. So taking the back plate and one of the side plates with the slot, simply just apply some of the glue to the tabs on the back plate to start with and then if you hold this small section close to the back plate you'll see that you don't need to glue all of this tab so just basically go along from where this point is here onto there and then glue along the long one and then the short one lift that up and then just twist it around at 90 degrees and just carefully just slot it into the tabs that are already there. Hold that in position for a couple of seconds and if there's any glue that seeped out just wipe that away with a cloth now. So taking the back plate here we're just going to apply some of the glue onto that tab and then on one of the end plates we're just going to pop some glue on those tabs and then also on this one here. Then just flip that up and then what you want to do is to pop this tab here inside of the hole. Like before, if there's any glue, now's the time to actually wipe that out. Taking the semi-constructed part, we're just going to apply some glue on the tab there. Then on the small section, we're going to apply some glue on all of the tabs on one side and then on that side as well. And again, we're going to flip that over at 90 degrees and then we're just going to slot that in and carefully just push everything together. Like as before, if there's any glue that has oozed out, now is the time to remove it. So now we're going to stick the last section onto our back plate. So first of all just apply some glue to the back plate on the tabs that are left. So it's those two there and just turn it and it's the ones on the end and also on the other end as well. On this section again Hold it up, so just make sure that you don't want to apply too much glue to this part here. So you can see we just need to go from about there and then on the long tab and then on the shorter one. And then just those there. And again, just flip that up and then just slot the tab into the hole there. So just pop it at an angle and then offer that up and then just hold in position. As before, if there's any glue that's seeped out, now's the time to remove it. If you wish, you can use elastic bands just to hold everything in place whilst it's drying. Leave for about 20 minutes to dry. After 20 minutes you can remove the elastic bands if you've used them.
and then taking the large sheet just remove the archway and also the inner section there and then taking the back box just apply some glue all the way around this section here. Now take the front part of your shrine and just position that over the top of the area that you just glued. And then using the piece of MDF that you took out from the centre, just position that at the end so it sits on these just two tiny little feet, which are here and here, and position that and then just press it down so you know that that is going to be nice and square. If any glue has seeped out, again it's the time to remove that now before it dries. Now is the time just to make sure before the glue has fully set to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. Again, use that bottom plate there just to make sure that everything is sitting square. So what I'm doing, I'm just pushing from this end just so those feet on the other side line up perfectly so you can actually stand your shrine up on a flat surface. When you're happy with the positioning of the top plate on the back plate, it's an idea just to pop some weight on it just to hold everything in position whilst it's drying. After about 20 minutes you can remove all of the weights from your shrine. So now your shrine is completely dry, it's just a case of decorating it however you wish. Once it's fully dry you can actually stand it, so as long as you took your time to make sure that the front plate lines up perfectly with the tiny feet, you should easily be able to stand it upright. <laughs>